All right, this video is gonna go over our attack. So this is gonna include our footwork, jumping, and coordinating our lower body and our upper body to get up in the air. So right-handed athlete, lefties are going to be the opposite. And in our sport, lefties are typically more efficient on the right side, but that's advanced. So if you have any lefties in your gym and you're doing hitting lines, it's much better for them to approach from the other side of the court. In the court, the opposite the way the righty's doing it, but right now in our gameplay, that's been not going to be an option. But just knowledge to know in case you have a lefty to help them train a little bit better. So with a right-handed athlete, we're going to have them start with their left foot back and their right foot forward. And they're going to do a three-step approach. And we talk about the approach. As the athlete does the approach, they're going to get faster as they go. So the first step is going to be fast, the next step is faster, and the third step is the fastest. The approach has a rhythm of left, right, left. So Emma's going to just do left, right, left, and freeze, and we can see the rhythm with her feet. So as you hear her feet, they go left, and then there's a pause, and then right, left happens a lot quicker. So she comes back, she has her left foot back, and she's going to go again. Just go left, right, left, and freeze. The thing that Emma does naturally is as she's taking these last two steps, her body turns. So now, similar to the down ball, her hitting arm is farthest from the net, her non-hitting arm is closest. And for this position as an outside hitter with a righty, she's going to be facing the setter, and we're gonna call this being open. So she's open to the setter. The other thing that happens naturally is her arms come back. So if you remember from the down ball video, as the athlete prepared to hit a down ball, the first step with their arms was arms back. So the toughest thing that your athletes are going to do as they move to a, from down ball to attacking is coordinating all this happening at once. So on these last two steps, the athlete has to think about turning open, having the right rhythm, bending their knees, and throwing their arms back. So this is the part that athletes are going to struggle at the most to be efficient at their attack. So if we have Emma do it again, she'll do it all naturally and all together. So left, right, left, and then three. Left, right, left, good. So on her first step, her arms come forward a little bit and then she throws them back. This position here is going to help our athlete jump in the air and it's also gonna help our athlete get power to turn and hit. Because just like we talked about with the down ball, as she goes up into the air, so the potential motion, her arms are gonna go up open, so right now our athlete would be in the air, and as she hits, she's still gonna have this rotation, and then when she lands, she'll be completely shoulders facing them. So she started open, and she ended close. All right, let's show the full speed. Okay, so she did a little extra pause there to help us see that she got here, and then she goes up in the air with her arms helping her jump, when she gets to the top of her jump, her arms are gonna open, and then as she comes through, she's still gonna go shoulder, elbow, wrist in the air, left arm, non-hitting arm is pointing at the ball, shoulders turn, body turn, and she ends facing the net. So we have our left, right, left rhythm getting faster as we go. We have our arms back, and we're getting open on those last two steps, which are the most important and the hardest thing that our athletes will attempt to do with learning to attack. And then we have our jump, and our torso rotation as we swing, landing, finishing, facing the neck. Let's see one more time, completely like full speed as fast as you can go. Good. So same thing with the down ball. You'll see her arm finishes past her waist as she does this. So it's the exact same swing mechanics as the down ball. Arms back, arms up, arms open. The only difference is you're doing this part of this as your lower body is moving, preparing to jump, and you're doing the second part of this as your body's in the air, as you're swinging and moving your torso. So I'll show one more full speed. So we have the rhythm, we have the last two steps, which is to get us prepared, and then up in the air, full swing. And our athlete, we always wanna make sure that they finish facing the net, and it's great to see them landing on two feet, because that's really good for their muscles and really good for their injury prevention.